Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make three home decor DIYs for your home. I really enjoy making glam DIYs because it's definitely my style. These are super easy and affordable to make. I hope you find any of these ideas helpful and inspiring to recreate them for your home. Give this video a thumbs up if you love glam just as much as I do and want to see more. If you're new here, welcome. I would love to have you part of our YouTube family, so don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, I partnered with Scentbird. I picked out three different designer perfumes to try because I've heard a lot of reviews that they smell amazing. They come in this pretty velvet bag that I can put in my purse to take with me or travel. This is how they look outside of their bag and I really like the packaging, the colors are really cute. One thing that really stands out to me is the amount you get to test out. We all know that perfume can get really expensive so to try designer fragrances for only $14.95 is a great deal. To take the perfume out, all you have to do is twist the bottom and it pops right out. I don't want to spend a ton of money on a perfume and end up not liking the smell. So this is perfect to try designer perfume. Each bottle will last you a month and they have 450 perfumes to choose from. These are 100% authentic scents. I picked the Burberry Brit Sheer, Versace Bright Crystal, and for my husband, the Versace Eros. They have men's cologne too, which is awesome, so your significant other can try these out as well. I will leave their website in my description box and a 30% off your first month discount code. I really like the perfumes that I tried out. My favorite is the Versace Bright Crystal. If you've been hearing a lot about a designer fragrance and want to try it out, I highly recommend Scentbird. Thank you Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go ahead and get started with these DIYs. For the first DIY, you will need a hot glue gun, round mirror, acrylic gems, and bling wrap. Taking my hot glue gun, I'm adding the glue around the mirror frame to attach the bling wrap. For this project, if you don't want the frame black, you can spray paint the frame whatever color you want, but I love the way black and silver looks. You will have leftover bling wrap on the top, so I'm going to take my hot glue gun and apply glue right under the wrap. Then I'm going to press it down with scissors. Next, I'm gluing the gems down and they will cover the bling wrap. I added a short line of glue and put the gems on, then did another short line and so on. I don't want the glue to dry, so that's why I do it this way. They have different colors you can use instead of the clear gems. This is just an idea to help you get started. Now that the outer frame is covered in the gems, I'm going to cover the inside of the frame. Here's how the tray looks and I really like the gems covering the frame but I'm going to try something new. I had some extra gems that I decided to add to the bottom of the frame. Here's how it all turned out. Would you add the extra gems on the bottom or leave it like it was without it? I just had this in mind and decided to go ahead and add them. It gives it a different look but still very pretty. This can be an entryway table tray, bathroom tray to hold mini towels, makeup, jewelry, or perfume bottles. The ideas go on and on. For the next DIY, you'll need a hot glue gun, ice bucket from the Dollar Tree party section, rhinestone wrap from Hobby Lobby, and two bags of the acrylic gems.
taking the rhinestone wrap, I'm wrapping it around the ice bucket to give it an extra glam look. Stretch it out while doing so because otherwise it will look crooked since the ice bucket is in a solid shape. Next, I'm adding a line of hot glue to put the gems on top. After I made a row with the gems, I'm adding another row below it, skipping two gems. I wanted a little bit of a cluster look here. And here's the final result. I really like the way it turned out. What do you guys think? I styled it with some hydrangeas that I like keeping out year long because they're so pretty. You can add whatever color flowers you want or you can just use it as an ice bucket what it was actually made for. Another idea on how you can style this piece is adding some mini washcloths, put it in your bathroom to glam it up. Let me know if you guys would make this and where would you put it. I put it here on my entryway table but it would also look beautiful on a nightstand in your bedroom. For the last DIY, you'll need a flower glass vase, silver napkin rings, a round glass candle holder, and bling wrap. In a previous DIY, I used the rhinestone wrap to wrap it around the round candle holder. You can do this too or use the bling wrap from Dollar Tree. I like the rhinestone wrap better because it makes it look like you bought it in store. Taking my hot glue gun, I'm adding a little bit of glue to stack the napkin rings up. I want to make a candle holder and put this inside to give it a different glam look. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I'm going to show you at the end how it looks like so you can see which one you like better. Then I'm adding more glue to the bottom of the vase so I can put the round candle holder on top. And here's the final result. I simply added the napkin ring stack in and if you want a permanent look with them, you can hot glue it to the inside of the candle holder. I love candle holders. They're one of my favorite DIYs to make as well because there are so many ways that they can all be different and beautiful. I like the clear glass look of the candle holder and it would be very pretty to have as a set. You can make a set of three or one like I did. Let me know which DIY was your favorite out of the three I showed you today. I would love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much for the amazing feedback I've been getting on the videos I did with my husband. He really had fun at making these tables for you guys and looks forward to hearing what you want to see next. If you decide to recreate any of my DIYs, please tag me on Instagram. It's LG Queen Home Decor. I would love to see what you come up with and share in my stories. If you made it this far, I wanted to share some cute finds I just found. I recently went to Dollar Tree and found all of these adorable macaroons and I had to share them with you guys. I picked up all the colors they had and they had six of each color so I know they'll go quick. Let me know if you want me to start sharing what I pick up from Dollar Tree in a haul. If you want me to show you then give this video a thumbs up so I know it's to film it for you guys. I love watching hauls from Dollar Tree because each store has different things so let me know. This concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching and for all your continued love and support. Don't forget to check out Scentbird. Their link and discount code is in my description box. I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Take care.